guys welcome back to my channel in my previous video I explained how anyone can memorize information by creating a mind map taking note by hand repeating and sleeping well find the link to the video below in this video I'm going to share three types of memory the first type of memory is sensory memory this refers to things that are stored for a very short period of time, ranging from a fraction of a second to maybe three seconds. This form of memory is difficult to differentiate from the act of perception. For example, it would contain an image of something just glimpsed or a fleeting sound that was just heard. The sensations that don't draw attention simply vanish as no analysis is performed on the information. Those sensations that are detected are then moved to the next form of memory, which is a short-term memory. What's a short-term memory? Well, a short-term memory is an interesting element of memory cognition. The key to it is attention. Short-term memory has a restricted storage facility in terms of the number of items it can store and in duration. In other words, it's restricted in the amount of information it can store and how long it can store it for. Research into how many items a person can store with correct recall has shown a figure of 7, plus or minus 2, whether they be words, names, numbers, and letters. Recall usually depends on repetition and rehearsal, otherwise the information can vanish just as quickly as it entered your consciousness. For example, you may hear a telephone number on the radio, dash to the phone, and as you get to the fifth digit, you have to hang up because the rest of the number has just gone from your head. Or you are at a party and while you are chatting to somebody you met 20 minutes ago, your partner comes over and as you introduce him to your new acquaintance, you can't remember the person's name. The repetition method of repeating the information silently would have helped in both these instances. Rehearsal is used to maintain the information in the short-term memory continually. The third type of memory is long-term memory. You can rehearse information in your short-term memory until it finally becomes stored in your long-term memory. This includes information that is thought about in a more significant and profound way and is associated with other knowledge that is already stored in the long-term memory. Unlike short-term memory, long-term memory has no known limits. Information stored here doesn't become lost if it isn't retrieved or rehearsed. It can be called up as needed. A crucial factor of elaborative rehearsal in long-term memory is the linking of new information to the self. The self, in other words, can be used as memory aid. You are relating information to what you already know and forming associations. You elaborate on new information by recollecting information that you already have stored in your long-term memory. So these are the three types of memory I wanted to share with you. I hope you found this video helpful. My name is E.B. Kevin and stay tuned for the next video.